Your hearts are wicked. Your hearts are not set with God. Hell's bells, that's what that is right there. Hell's bells, man. <laughs> it's not going to be funny on Judgment Day. Oh, man. <clears throat> scary. Very scary. The Bible said the nations that forget God shall be turned into hell. We know that. And we know it is mentioned time and time again throughout Old Testament scriptures. It even says that hell hath enlarged itself. Apparently, it is never full. But when the Lord Jesus Christ showed up 2,000 years ago, the lowly Galilee and the carpenter, and all of that, my friend, he preached about hell. Watchmen TV. Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's uh, Andre, a watchman in Canada, and uh, looking for a spot downtown to preach this morning. It is, oh, roughly uh, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock or so. I was going to preach down by at Tim Hortons, down up this road here, but it's really windy in that section. So when the wind comes, there's too much on the microphone, and when the wind comes, today I got my... Uh, I got the preaching flag out today, so it's a lot to handle when you're preaching if you're a loner <laughs> like me, if you're all alone preaching. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll show you what I got today. So, I got uh, my amplifi amplifier equipment. I've got Bibles and tracks in here. This is how I do it, guys. I keep everything in here. Perfect. And uh, <clears throat> I got my tripod set up. And uh, we got the preaching poll today, and so, yeah, a little coffee to get started. It's going to be a good one. <coughs> What's up, guys? It's uh, Ash Wednesday, supposedly, according to the Catholic Church. I just ran into three priests, and I just rebuked them at large, and now they're going for a walk. And they're going around the corner, but there's an Anglican church right down the street here. So we're going to go for a walk, and we're going to go and confront them again. Here they come, actually. Here they come. Are you ready to meet your God? You're going to go to hell. Nowhere in the Bible does it say to pray to Mary. You're wicked, wicked, wicked servant. All right. Look at these phonies. Look at these big time phonies. Hey guys, come have a chat. Let's talk about the Bible. Let's talk about the God of the Bible. Look at this wicked place. Look at the size of this thing. Huge, nasty church, man. Huge, big lie. Big, big, big fat lie. Wicked, 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 man. 
But that's why we come out to preach the word. That's for the Catholic Church. The Bible says, repent and be converted. Repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Ash Wednesday is a lie. You have blood on your hands. This church is a wicked church. This church has defiled Jesus Christ. Ash Wednesday is a lie. The Bible says, the Bible says repent and be converted. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And I will give you the Holy Spirit. Colossians says, Do not be deceived by philosophy or vain deceit. Do not take place after the traditions of man, after the rudiments of the world. God hates tradition. You need Jesus Christ in your life. Without holiness, no man will see God. It's a fearful thing. <clears throat> Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But the, pre the, the preaching of the cross is foolish to those who perish. Jesus Christ will save you. Ash, Ash Wednesday is a lie. Don't go in there. That's a lie. That church will send you to hell. Church will send you to hell. Nowhere in the Bible does it say the Pope. Nowhere in the Bible does it have the word none. Nowhere in the Bible does it say purgatory. Nowhere in the Bible does it say Ash Wednesday. Luke. Warm Christians will have their place in the lake of fire, the Bible says. The seven sacraments are a lie. Nowhere in the Bible does it say sacraments. This church is leading people to hellfire. Jesus said, be born again. No one will see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. You must be born of water and be born of the Spirit. Jesus said, the flesh profits nothing. Putting ashes on your forehead profits nothing. You need to be born again. You need, you need to have a deposit of the Holy Spirit. Amen. No one will see the kingdom of God unless you're born again. Jesus said, you got to be born of the Spirit. Ash Wednesday is a lie. Liars go to hell, Revelation 21. All, layer, all liars will have their place in the lake of fire. Galatians, the book of Galatians says that heretics will go to hell. Ash Wednesday is a heresy. The traditions and the teachings of the Catholic Church, of the Anglican Church, is heresy. The Bible says, repent and be converted of your sins. You need to turn from your sins, the Bible says. If you're ashamed of me, then I'll be ashamed of you, the Bible says. If you confess me before men, then I will confess you before my Father, he said. If you confess Jesus before men, then I will confess your name before my holy angels, the Bible says. Ash Wednesday is a lie. <clears throat> Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man come to the Father but by me. You need to repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. The Bible says, without holiness, no man will see God. Jesus Christ is the only way. The Father, Jesus said, Mary can't save you, Allah can't save you, Muhammad can't save you, you need Jesus Christ. Mary was a sinner. After Jesus Christ was born, she had to
to go and make a sacrifice of two pigeons, of two turtle doves for her sins in her life. That means she's under the covenant of Moses. She is still under the law of Moses. She was a sinner. The Bible says all men have sinned. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. Jesus Christ, he who knew no sin, became sin so that you could be reconciled back to God. The Catholic Church is a lie. This Anglican Church is sending people to have fire. You need to be born again in the Spirit of God. Ash Wednesday is stupid, the Bible says. Those who reject instruction are stupid, the Bible says. Oh, yes. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. It's not called good luck. It's not called bad luck. It's not called karma either. It's called sowing. And if you continue to sow into the flesh, you will reap corruption. If you continue to sow into religion, you will die in your sins. You need to be born again in the Spirit of God, the Bible says. Born again. Nowhere in the Bible does it say the Pope. The Pope can't save you. The Pope claims to be the vicar of Christ. The Pope himself claims to be God on earth. That is blasphemy. That is blasphemy. The charge is blasphemy. Jesus said, repent and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out. You need to trust in Jesus Christ. You need to trust in the blood of Jesus Christ. When you receive Jesus Christ, you put on the incorruptible. You throw off the old man and you put on the new man. And you start walking uprightly in this world. You start walking righteously in this world. That's right. The Bible says, turn and awake to righteousness. You need Jesus Christ. Mary can't save you. The rosary is a lie. The rosary is disgusting. Jesus said, when you pray, pray to the Father. Do not pray in vain, in vain repetition. The rosary will sing in a house that's there. This, this church is an, an abomination. This church is an abomination. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commands. Ask Wednesday. There's nowhere in the Bible. It's heresy. Anglican Church is heresy, and that's hellfire when you die, hellfire. Mary can't save you. Jesus said, repent and be converted of your sins. Repent and be converted, receive the Holy Spirit. You can get set free, I got delivered. I got delivered from cigarettes because I repented of my wickedness. I repented of my selfishness. I repented of my drunkenness. I repented of my selfishness. You can't live in sin and go to heaven. That's why Lucifer was kicked out, because he sinned. You need to trust in the blood of Jesus Christ. The book of Colossians says, Do not trust in vain deceit. Do not be deceived with vain deceit. Do not follow the traditions of men after the rudiments of the world. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man will see the Father. No man can come to the Father but by me. Oh, people love their sin now. Oh, they love their sin. They love their sin. The Bible says if you hate God, it's because you love your sin. If you love your sin, it's because you hate God. When you become a true saint of Jesus Christ, when you become a real Christian, you forsake your sin, the Bible says. If you love me, keep my commandments, the Bible says. Nowhere in the Bible does it say Pope. Nowhere in the Bible does it say none. You can't find purgatory in the Bible. It's a man-made doctrine. It is a lie. And Revelation 21 says that all liars will have their place in the lake of fire. Oh, yeah. Cigarette tastes good, though. Oh, yeah. Right? 
Oh, wicked, wicked, wicked. Hypocrites, the Bible says. You're a hypocrite. Living in sin, calling yourself a Christian. Wicked, wicked, wicked. You gotta trust in Jesus Christ. You gotta trust in Jesus. The Bible says, do not be conformed to the methods of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You gotta read the Bible. You gotta have personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus is the word of God. Revelations 19. I am the beginning and the last. I am the first and the end. Oh man. People are gonna be deceived on judgment day. Oh, they're gonna be so. The Bible says that many choose the broad way. Many choose the broad way. That leads to destruction. Jesus said, I am the life. If you follow me, you must be on the short and narrow. The gateway to life is short and narrow, and few there be that find it. Revelation 3.16 says, Lukewarm Christians will pray, take their place in hell, the Bible says. Don't put your trust in the Anglican church. They're going to send you to hell. you got to put your trust in Jesus, the one who rose from the grave. And this is eternal life, that I might know you, the true God and Son, Jesus. You want to come to Bible study? No, man, you can't do that. That's adultery. You're going to go to hell. I, I don't want you to go to hell, man. I love you. God loves you. I want to see you get saved, man. You need to experience the power, the resurrection power of God. No, you're not saved. That's a lie. Jesus said, repent and be converted. Sinners don't go to heaven. You've got to be a saint. That's a lie. You're feeding yourself a lie. You're living a lie. You don't even love God. You love your cigarette more than you love your Bible. You're a hypocrite. Wow, man. So many, so many are lost, man. So many are lost. You can't smoke cigarettes and go to heaven. You can't be a drunkard and go to heaven, the Bible says. You gotta turn from sin, the Bible says. You gotta turn from sin, the Bible says. The flesh, the flesh profiteth nothing. Christ said, my words unto you are life and spirit. Those who take part in Ash Wednesday are the same as the Jews, those hypocrites. They cared more about the outside of their cup rather than what was going on in the inside. Jesus said, if you even look at a woman with lust, you have committed adultery in your heart. Your hearts are wicked. Your hearts are not set with God. Sad, man. Sad day. Sad day for the kingdom. <laughs> Uh, a bunch of weirdos, bud. Bunch of weirdos. This church is gonna send you to hell. You need Jesus Christ. Believe it, believe it, believe it.